Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 is officially here, and that means we have new weapons to check out. Today, I'll be showing you guys the top five best class setups you can use. And make sure to watch until the end of the video for a bonus class. And before we jump into it, I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to drop a like for good luck. And that starts right now. First up, we have the Ram 7. This is a brand new assault rifle introduced in Modern Warfare 3 Season 1, although we did see it in Modern Warfare 2019. This assault rifle is specifically good with close and medium range engagements, but can also hit those long range targets. All right, guys, so jumping into the Ram 7 class setup, we have for the barrel, the Boreal 6C suppressed barrel. Obviously, I really like this barrel because it comes with an integrated suppressor already, so you're staying off the radar and you don't have to use an attachment slot on a muzzle so now that frees up another attachment just to help out with this gun and uh, also you get bullet velocity and range this is something that i feel like the ram 7 needs it's really good up close it's really good medium range but then it starts to really fall off on those long range engagements and even in modern warfare 2019 the ram 7 did the exact same thing it just wasn't really that great with those long range engagements so i feel like you need bullet velocity so your bullets travel faster hitting the enemy faster but then also increase that range a little bit. Moving on to the magazine, I actually really like the 60 round mag. You definitely can run the 40 round magazine as well. Uh, with the 60 round mag, obviously you're going to be a little bit more slower in the ADS, the reload quickness, but you actually don't lose out on like movement speed at all. You just lose out on ADS speed. So if you feel like this thing is just maybe a little bit too slow when you ADS, honestly run the 40 round magazine. If you don't want the 40 round mag, because I personally feel like this gun shoots fast, throw on the 60. I'm moving on to the rear grip, the retort 90 grip tape. This helps out with firing aim stability, which means that when you're firing your gun, it's not really bobbing around that often. And it helps out with gun kick control, recoil control. These are two things that definitely you, you need help with for sure on this Ram 7. And you also lose out on just aiming idle sway, which is really not that big of a con. Moving on to the comb, we have the FT poly comb. This is going to help out once again with that recoil control and gun kick control, which I feel like the Ram 7 has a lot of. There's a lot to manage there, so I feel like if you're really trying to hit those medium and long range engagements, I feel like you need some gun kick control. And lastly, man, moving on to the stock, the HVS 3.4 pad. This is going to, once again, help out tremendously with gun kick control with three ticks, as well as recoil control. Overall, man, I feel like this is definitely a better class setup when it comes to the Ram 7. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of recoil to manage for those longer range engagements. But like up close, no recoil. Medium, no recoil. If you want to hit these farther shots, I recommend kind of just shooting, maybe stopping, shooting, and kind of doing a little bit of a tap fire. But even with all of those gun kick control and recoil control attachments, this thing definitely still has recoil to manage. So it's like you really do need those attachments to help out with that recoil. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like the Ram 7 in MW3 or Modern Warfare 2019 better? Next up, we have the XRK Snipe Rifle, which was introduced in Modern Warfare 3 Season 1. A lot of people have compared this weapon to maybe like a ballista or an MSR, but this sniper rifle is insane. All right, guys, so jumping into this class setup for the laser, we have the FSS Ole V laser. This is from Modern Warfare 2, and it's definitely the best laser still for all of these sniper rifles. It's gonna help out with aiming stability, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed. A lot of this class setup is going to be mainly ADS and sprint to fire speed because we wanna make sure we can hit those quick scopes. We're fast, we're quick. We can hit those one-shot kills before the enemy kills us. But on to the barrel, the Handler LKP short barrel. Once again, ADS speed, movement speed, sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed. Now, you do lose out on some bullet velocity and range, but honestly, it's a sniper, and the XRK sniper will hit those one-shot kills. I rarely get hit markers with this gun, even with the short barrel, so make sure to use this barrel because obviously that ADS speed, you're going to want to be scoping in as fast as possible. Moving on to the magazine, the seven round magazine. I think this is honestly a really great attachment and a good option. Uh, just in case you do miss some of your shots, maybe you're not the fastest or the best sniper in the world. I think the seven round mag will give you that, that buffer room where if you do miss one or two shots, you can still take out a lot of enemies in front of you. So if you guys are going for like, you know, some quad feeds or some sniper clips or whatever, I think the seven round mag is pretty mandatory. Next up for the bolt, the XRK stalker light bolt this will help out with rechambering speed so you can actually rechamber your gun faster in between shots and make sure you shoot as fast as possible which is really really good and lastly i actually removed
removed my rear grip in the last video that I made about this gun and I put on the SPX 86.6 optic. This comes from Modern Warfare 2 and in my opinion is a very, very good optic for this sniper rifle. I'm not a huge fan of the default scope that comes with this gun. So I put on this one and it feels a little bit more natural, a little bit more comfortable. And even with removing the grip, as you guys can see, it still scopes in very, very fast. And even if we stand all the way back here, scope in, you're still gonna hit those one shot kills even with the short barrel. So overall, man, definitely give it a shot. I think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this sniper. Next up, man, we have Old Reliable, the Striker SMG. This is the UMP from the original Modern Warfare 2. It was absolutely insane in the preseason and it's still amazing in season one. Hey guys, so jumping into this class setup for the barrel, the Striker Recon Long Barrel. This was the barrel I actually used in the preseason and it's gonna be the same barrel moving into season one. You get bullet velocity and range. You're gonna be making this SMG hit a lot of those farther shots, just giving it that bullet velocity where the bullets are gonna be traveling faster, a little bit more range, so it's much better at those medium and long range engagements, but also it is an SMG, so it's still gonna hit for those close range engagements nonetheless. Moving on to the muzzle, the Sonic Suppressor S. I actually rocked, the, I believe, the Shadow Strike Suppressor before, which is amazing option if you guys want to. Definitely use this, but I actually found that this one was really good because it gives it even more bullet velocity and even more damage range. So you're gonna be killing enemies a lot faster just from this one attachment just be from this one suppressor so i really enjoyed this one there are definitely a lot of options as you guys can see like there's so many attachments in this game that will honestly really really help you there's so many different routes you can go but i personally like a suppressor to stay off that radar all right guys and for the ammunition attachment the high grain rounds i use this a lot of the times on my assault rifle class setups but i really like this also on the striker obviously no enemy skull so when you kill an enemy there won't be a skull and his teammates won't know where he kind of died and maybe if they're just not paying attention to like you know the mini map or something you also get more bullet velocity more damage range is this a necessary attachment probably not you honestly probably don't need the increase in bullet velocity or damage range because this thing is an smg at the end of the day so you're gonna be in those close range engagements more than the longer range ones but still i actually really did like this attachment it felt really good to me so let me know what you guys think next up moving on to the magazine i definitely recommend the 48 round mag this thing definitely has a pretty fast fire rate but also you just want to make sure that you're able to take out as many enemies in front of you as possible without having to reload constantly because there's so many situations where i've reloaded in a gunfight because i have i just don't have you know enough bullets in the magazine so i start reloading another enemy comes around the corner they catch me reloading i can't even you know reload cancel because i don't have any more bullets boom they kill me moving on to the rear grip the sakin zx grip for, for a little bit more gun kick control a little bit more recoil control honestly I, I might change this attachment now that i'm looking at it kind of on the fly right here with you guys yeah i might change the sakin zx grip maybe remove that and honestly the rb uh crotalis assault stock might be another good option because you do get that gun kick control but also a little bit more ADS and sprint to fire speed, which honestly might be good. Or you could run the light stock just for more movement speed so you can run around a little bit faster. And when you guys use this class, I mean, literally like no recoil like this gun has no recoil it's kind of insane obviously for those longer range engagements you might have to maybe tap fire a little bit maybe even mount up close range no recoil medium no recoil you're good to go next up we have the mcw and if you're trying to find the perfect weapon for you this is probably it this is the og acr this was amazing in the preseason as well and it's really really good in season one and i have two class setups all right guys so this is just class setup number one for the mcw because there's so many ways to run it it's a very versatile weapon but this is kind of like my personal favorite class setup so for the barrel the 16.5 mcw cyclone long barrel i use this in the preseason i'm bringing it back over you get bullet velocity and range so your bullets travel faster you're gonna be hitting more people at a longer ranges obviously aiming idle sway firing aim stability all really good stuff and you only have cons for tax stance spread which you really don't do that often hit fire spread which you're really not going to do either with an assault rifle and then aim walking speed it's not that much this is easily my favorite barrel out of all of these options next up man the shadow strike suppressor i mean i can't say enough good things about this attachment you stay off the radar absolutely no cons uh this gun is already gonna have like no recoil so you really don't need like you know the spirit fire suppressor or really anything else like that moving on to the ammunition the nato high grain rounds once again man such a game changer of an attachment you get bullet velocity damage range this attachment is so 
so freaking broken. You'll feel the difference as well when you take this off and put it back on. Easily need the 40 round mag. I think by default, you have 30 bullets, which is just simply not enough. Throw on the 40 round mag so you just don't have to constantly be reloading with your weapon. I feel like the 60 round mag is probably only good for like Warzone. You don't need that much in multiplayer. Maybe if you were on shipment or meat or rust, something super small where it's really hard to find those opportunities to reload, but I would stick with the 40 round mag. And lastly for the stock, the RB Regal Heavy Stock for that recoil control and gun kick control. This is easily one of my favorite setups um, for the entire game. I mean, literally no recoil, man. The gun just feels good as well. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of the iron sights. But if you're not a huge fan of the iron sights, I got another class for you. This is class setup number two for the MCW. So I actually removed the barrel completely because we really honestly don't need that at all. For the muzzle, I put on the Komodo Heavy, which is going to help out with horizontal, but more importantly, gun kick control and vertical recoil control as well. And then everything else is the same, but when you take off the barrel, I put on the slate reflector for the optic. And just in case if you don't like the iron sights in this weapon and you want a clearer picture, I love the slate reflector. But as you guys can see, no recoil recoil, no recoil, and even longer range, just a little bit of recoil, not that much. You definitely have to be a little bit careful with this class setup though, just because you don't have a suppressor, so you will be showing up on the radar. So as long as you guys know that, just be ready, just be prepared, but yeah, two classes for you to check out. Next up, we have the Bass B Battle Rifle, and so many people have been talking about this gun, and for good reason. It is absolutely insane. You need to try this out. All right, guys, so starting off with the muzzle, the Husher 65 Silencer. This is obviously gonna make it so you're not on the radar, but then you get bullet velocity as well as firing aim stability. Moving on to the underbarrel, the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip. This thing has vertical recoil, so to help that out, you get this attachment, gun kick control and vertical recoil control, which is going to help out the gun a lot. Next up, you got to have the 30 round magazine. You can rock the 45 round mag if you want. Both of these are an option, but you need some form of a magazine attachment with this battle rifle. Moving on to the rear grip, the STT 88 grip This is going to help out even more with gun kick control and even more with recoil control. And finally, throw on the slate reflector. I'm not going to lie, man. The Bass B is feeling really, really good. Like no recoil. The damage feels really good. You take out opponents extremely quickly because it is a battle rifle, but it kind of acts as an assault rifle as well. And finally, man, we have the AMR9 submachine gun. And right before season one, they actually went ahead and buffed this thing. You can have 100 bullets in the magazine. This gun shreds. Hey guys, so going on to the AMR9 class, we have for the barrel, the Tectonic Micro Integral Suppressor. This has an integrated suppressor, so you're going to be staying off the radar, which it doesn't look like there's an integrated suppressor at all. It looks like the, the barrel's just cut in half, but you stay off the radar. So that obviously means you have a free attachment uh, as well, which is really, really nice. But then you get sprint to fire speed, ADS speed, aim walking speed. You're going to be snapping on people because, you know, it is an SMG. It's going to be really good for close range. But also the underbrow, the Kimura Reen 03 vertical grip. This thing has vertical recoil, so it's going to help out with that gun kick control and vertical recoil control that the AMR9 needs. Now, moving on to the magazine, I really, really recommend either the 50 round mag or you can even rock the 100 round round drum so you rarely ever have to reload you do lose out on a lot of ads speed and maybe just like you know some sprint to fire speed but it's kind of up to you either way both are kind of mandatory in my opinion next up moving on to the stock the ta venom stock this is going to help out with recoil control movement speed sprint speed this gun rarely has any recoil to manage so this is a really good attach and personally i'm not a huge fan of the iron sight so i like the slate reflector on this thing it just helps out to have a clearer picture i'm honestly a huge fan of the amr9 i believe it got buffed as well in the preseason update for Modern Warfare 3. Those close and medium range engagements, this is going to really shred. And also, this is a gun that came within the brand new battle pass. And if you guys just shoot it, as you shoot the gun, it actually gets hotter and hotter and hotter and turns red. And then it kind of slowly like cools down. But like the, oh my God, it looks so good. I'm dead. Lost 
Okay, got another advance. Got the swarm. They're double pushing that. Oh. Oh. I'm dead. I'm not sure why my face cam wasn't there this whole time. No idea. Literally no idea why I didn't have a face cam there. But okay. I'm gonna be freaking dead anyway. There's a guy like right here to my left. Wait, what was that guy trying to do? Not a good position. Adva I just need like a UAV or something. They're definitely down that hallway. Wait. They have an Overwatch. I'm done.